Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the SSA Hamilton Murray Football Netball League 2024 Hall of Fame. It is indeed an honour and a privilege to be a part of tonight's proceedings. My name is Graham Patterson and I'm very proud to be again the host of this wonderful evening. Tonight being the 18th and again a most significant part of the journey of the Owens and Murray Football Netball League and it's significant in that we honour some more of those who have made an outstanding contribution to our league, to our clubs and to our broader community. It's very important to acknowledge those who have come before and establish the standards and the benchmarks for the future and we'll talk more about some of our former inductees as we go. Tonight we have six inductees, all of whom have been and still remain wonderful ambassadors for our game, for their families, for their respective clubs and also for our broader sporting community. I'd like to welcome our special guest, the Adams and Murray Football and Netball League Chair, David Sinclair, our Directors, Des Lonigan, Jamie Ravage, Alison Butler, David Morris and Tamara Matthews, Ken Jasper, AM, a uh, like member and former director. A special mention and welcome to Monica Clayton, to John O'Donoghue, wonderful to see John here in his role as community football manager for AFL Victoria. And whilst being inducted, I also want to acknowledge the contribution that Mick Wilson makes representing AFL Victoria through the Murray Bush Rangers. Also, Rod Malavi, who was the inaugural Hall of Fame chair. And when you listen to the player videos later, it is Rod's dulcet tones that do them due justice. So, well done, Rod. Fantastic effort. We have a number of apologies. Eddie Dunlop, the chair of the SSA Club, uh, very rare for Eddie to miss one, but he's currently overseas. Benny Hollands from Co Agency Media, Mick Longley and Alicia Morata from McRae, Sabina Zamek from Go Tafe, Josh Barney from KFC. Rob Frampton and Dean Stone from CUV, Sarah McDonald from Ramsey Health, Shane Watson and Olivia Safidi from Belgravia Apparel, Chris Michaels and Sasha Pekovic from Sharon, Robbie Allen from Road Safe North East, and directors Dave Kefford, Gavin Coder and Brett Anderson, and also a couple of Hall of Fame committee members in Kim Oderwin and Ian Wales. The board has asked me to recognise the representatives of the SSA Club who are represented by the CEO, Gerard Armady, the General Manager, Phil Kelly, along with Directors Murray Escroft, Mark Lahan and Colin Darts. 1494 2AY, represented by General Manager Andrew Harrison, Sales Manager Matt Fowler, who's also a former inductee, and Daniel Ferguson. Snap Printing Solutions, represented by Managing Director Craig Mundy and his wife, Cindy and Premier Data represented by Ryan Patterson and Head of Growth, Brett Hardeman. It would be remiss of us as a league not to acknowledge the contribution made by the press. So the Border Mail, Wangaratta Chronicle, Yarrawonga Chronicle, Coral Fleet Press, Medal for Time, Southern Cross Stereo, 1494 2AY, Oak FM, 107.3 FM, ABC, Golden Murray. And could I also uh, make mention and thank Phil Nolan for attending. Phil's a former inductee, a life member, former board member, but also the inaugural host of many of these Hall of Fame. So good to see you here, Phil, uh, supporting your good friend. If you look around the room, what we've tried to do over the years is put a collage of all our inductees, and they are for every person who's been inducted since 2000. And five, and we're blessed tonight. We have many of those people in the room. So, in 2005, we had Neville Hogan, upgraded to Legion in 2012. Henry DeFazio from Vanilla, Laurie Burke, Cherry Cross in 2012, Stephen Clark and Tim Sanson. 2013, Peter Tossel, Paul Spargo, and Andrew Scott. 2014, Phil Nolan and Tim Scott. 2016, Jack O'Halloran and John Henry. 2017, Paul Akiri and Bob Craig. 2022, Tony Wilson. And of course, from last year, 
2023 Matt Fowler and Anthony Pasquale. Could you please put your hands together for those former inductees of the team? My great pleasure now to call on to make the official welcome uh, David Sinclair, the chair of the SSNA Ovens and Murray Football Netball League. Welcome, David. Thanks, Pato. Wonderful uh, to see so many people here. The, uh, the room's as full as I've seen it at a Hall of Fame for, uh, for many a year. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the board of the SSNA Ovens and Murray Football and Netball League, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the 8th Hall of Fame dinner. Tonight we celebrate the achievements of the further six inductees. Audiences at this event have been blessed with some wonderful stories at the previous 17th Hall of Fame dinners. From the emotional response delivered by the late Elsie Rose, widow of Bob, way back in 2005, and the laughter produced by 93-year-old Jack Jones whilst accepting his Hall of Fame induction in 2018, to the touch of sadness exuded by Milton Turner whilst accepting on behalf of his late son David Turner in 2022. Each of our inductees has added to the folklore and esteem of our league and we look forward to adding to that history this evening. Throughout its history, the Ovens of Murray has been one of the most revered football competitions in regional Australia. It has provided a stage for some of the greats of Australian rules football. Names such as Button, Rose, Strang, Ablett, Stevens, Holton, Favala and Akamanis, and more recently the likes of Ben Reid and Steve Johnson not only resonate in the RM but are also names written into the history of the AFL BFL. The current board of the league is conscious of the huge responsibility it has inherited in the administration of the competition, part of which is the continued preservation and celebration of the RM's incredible history. Over its 130 year history, the Others of Murray has had 114 premierships decided, with Aubrey leading the way with 21, and Rutherland and Wayne Rada Rovers next with 15 each. There have also been 29 netball premierships decided, with Yarrawonga winning 9, having played in 16 of the 29 at grand finals. An incredible effort. 22 clubs have won football flags, 12 of whom either no longer exist or do not play in our league, and seven clubs have, take, have taken out the A-grade netball premiership. There have been five instances where a club has gone from Wooden Spurner to Premier the following season, and one instance where a club has gone from Premier to Wooden Spurner. There have been 76 Morris medalists and 25 Tony Wilson medalists, and of course seven legends and 94 inductees into the Hall of Fame. These are some of the figures behind the league. However, it is the players, the coaches, the volunteers and the supporters and yes, even the administrators who have provided the flesh to these statistical bones. My thanks go to Hall of Fame Chairman Ron Montgomery and his committee for again gathering the information and researching the candidates. And to the voice, Rod Malavi for his outstanding voiceover for each of the inductees which will send a shiver down your spine once you hear them. I'd also like to pass on my appreciation to our MC this evening, former o &M Chairman Graham Patterson, and in closing, can I remind everyone that Hall of Fame week culminates with a one-off showdown match this weekend between North Albury and Lavington at Button Park in North Albury. This will be the first as we continue to shine a light on the inductees and celebrate their elevation in the SSNA Ovens and Murray Hall of Fame. Beyond that, we eagerly await the final four rounds of the season and how they play out in the lead up to what will be one of the great Ovens and Murray football and netball final series. Finally, once again, thank you for your attendance this evening. Enjoy the fellowship that the night brings and may the kicks get longer and the mateship stronger. Thank you. Thank you, David. Very, very well done. It's my pleasure now to call on the chair of the Ovens Hall of Fame committee to talk about the process the eligibility and the committee members, would you please welcome Ron Montgomery and wish him a happy birthday for tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Ron Montgomery. Thank you, Pedro. Welcome 
to everybody. It's uh, great to see the numbers here tonight and uh, hopefully you will enjoy the evening. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we come together tonight the 18th SSNA Owens and Murray Football Netball League Hall of Fame induction dinner. Another six persons will enter the Hall of Fame of the Owens and Murray Football League. Tonight's inductees will add to the already outstanding list of high achieving other than Murray people, and if you look around the room, I think there's something like 17 previous, previous inductees here tonight. So it's great to see you back, gentlemen and ladies, because it's an important part to what we're trying to build over these years. Uh, tonight's inductees will add to the already outstanding list of high achieving other than Murray people who have been inducted over the past 20 years, taking our number to 97, including two who went straight in as legends, being Cleaver Button and Robbie Walker, along with that five have been upgraded to legend as the years have gone on. The Hall of Fame night is an outstanding event on the calendar of the SSI under the Murray, and the committee is proud of the status that the Hall of Fame has achieved and the respect that the inductees receive from all associated with our great SSNA of the Murray for Netball League, should I say. I have the privilege of being the current chairman of the Hall of Fame, something Malawi said to me in 2006, look, I'm taking a break for a short time and I'll be back. Well, right, it's 2024, can you get back? It's been 20 odd years, you've had a good rest. The committee also consists of the following of the Murray people, Outstanding Owen people, great thought processes, put in plenty of work to us. Kevin Hill, passionate OM and, and Wangaro Rovers man. David Johnson, again passionate football man and the media guru from the Weekly Times. Premiership coach in 2013 inductee Peter Tossel. Another Premiership coach and the great Bulldog Enforcer 2017 inductee Bob Craig. Former League current Deputy Chair, or ex-Deputy Chair, should I say, Kim Oderman, who has made her uh, presence felt with her skill set she brings to us with her knowledge of the League and netball in particular. A few of us, and some of us didn't know much about it, but she is absolutely fantastic. So thank you, Kimmy. She's unfortunately been ill at the moment, but she'll be back. Unfortunately, this year, we sadly lost former League Chairman Greg Klein. Long-serving league person of Murdoch Godfather was Greg. Contribution for the league, and more particularly to this committee, has been outstanding. Greg always brought thoughtful and considered views to our meetings and was always a valued member. Sympathy to Monica and your family, Monica. He is sadly missed by all. Rest in peace, Gregory. And also off our committee with the uh, Aubrey Tigers godfather, Ross Reed, the man that if you want to know anything down there, you just go to Reed and see what's happening. He won't tell you, but that's beside the point. He withdrew because of health reasons, but he's looking pretty fit tonight, so we might have to get him back. The outstanding knowledge those people brought was fantastic. From next year, we have three new committee members coming on. They're great others and Murray people. Been around a long while and know their stuff, so I look forward to dealing with them. They are 2010 inductee Terry Cross, a five-time best and fairest winner with the Tigers. Glenn Breer, the Yarrawonga Premiership President. And, of course, uh, former Murdoch player and president Ian Wales, who I'm sure will not be short of a thought of or three coming into meetings. The amount of work these people do and or have done, certainly in the previous, not only this year but for many years, deserves acknowledgement and please give them a vote of thanks. <laughs> I would like to thank the following people, and a night like this doesn't come together without a lot of input from a lot of people, and we've got some outstanding people helping us. To Kane and Michael, from the OM House, they have done a brilliant job. Anything's not too difficult. You go to Kane and say, mate, I reckon we need to do this. And it's done before you finish. It's fantastic. So the support you two have given us has been outstanding. Well done. Hall of Fame historian, you won't listen to me, but Johnny House. Well done, Johnny. Your work goes appreciated. Rob Lacey from Old Lacey Photography. You'll see his handiwork coming up. Same with Darren Grigg from Grid Media. Rob Malavi for the use of his voice. 
returns to the Hall of Fame microphone this year, quicker than he returned to the presidency, but anyway. Ross Schultz from the Albury Sound and Lighting, Nicky from Creative Fame in, in Albury Redonga, and of course a big thank you to our Master of Ceremonies, Graham Patterson, who does an outstanding job as MC. Well done, Pato. The SSNA, also for the venue tonight and for their continued support of our league. Thanks to Chairman Eddie, who's an apology, of course. CEO Jared and the board for your continued support. Thank you. To Chairman David Sinclair and the board members also, thank you, David, for you and your crew's continued support of what we try and do and what we uh, achieve going on in time. Thank you. I would ask that you acknowledge these people also. Thank you. Rightio, this is how you get in. Football and netball players, coaches, umpires, administrators, office bearers and media representatives are all eligible for induction into the Hall of Fame. However, a player can only be eligible for induction if that player has retired from playing all levels of football for a minimum of 36 months. This year we introduced a new rule, 3.1a, where a player may play up to six reserve games for the club he played for, given the shortage of numbers throughout and uh, the way it heads to loads being dragged in a pub on Friday night and everything else. We wouldn't have got the 30 evening people here tonight if we had to be using it. So that's a new rule coming, which is, I think, uh, moving us forward. A netball player must have retired from the young other than Murray Netball League for 36 months. The selection criteria states that the number of games played, coached, umpired or the years of service provided is only a consideration and not a determination in, a, in assessing a candidate's integrity. The committee may also consider a candidate's individual record, ability, integrity, sportsmanship and character. The introduction in the Adams and Murray Hall of Fame represents a tribute to the inductees in recognising the outstanding service and overall contribution they have made to the SSNA under the Murray Football and Netball League throughout our 131 years history. Whilst the sports of Australian rules football and netball are team sports, tonight we honour individuals. Individuals who can, along with family, friends and teammates, look back on a life blessed with achievement, maybe because of talent, maybe because of effort, but often because of loyalty, commitment and the love of a team. It is right that we acknowledge the individuals because the outstanding achievements of individuals to a team goal is to be celebrated by all those who have been involved in those teams. Because we take great pride in our champions, we take great pride in their achievements being acknowledged as they represent the team that we are involved with and they are part of, and therefore we share their success. In my view, the Hall of Fame is an outstanding vehicle to allow for permanent reminder of achievements past and celebration of fantastic O&M people, recognising they are great character, dedication and skill. A time to sit back and remember and doing so be enriched and inspired to watch people grow and become part of something special. For as long as the Avenue Murray continues, there will be men and women who come forward like those we honour tonight, and future generations will continue to look back and marvel at the contributions they have made. Certainly as I look around the room, there's many of you blokes out there and women out there that will be up on this stage at some stage in the career, and that will be an achievement. Unfortunately, in the past 12 months, in fact, the last few weeks, we lost two great Adams and Murray football and netball league people who have been inducted to the Hall of Fame. The inaugural inductee and 2013 legend, Jim Sandrell, passing away a few weeks ago. A man who won three Morris medals, five best and fairest, is in our Hall of Fame, was sent half back in our team of the century, is in the Corrine League Hall of Fame, Corowa Team of Champions, and just to top off and a good night out, he's in the AFL Hall of Fame for playing in the Melbourne 1956 Premiership side. Great achievements, but Jimmy will always be remembered for the quality of man he was, one of the best. 
And in past weekends, and we also lost Wangaratta Rovers superstar full forward and 2009 inductee Steve Norman, a man who kicked 1,016 goals and I think eight premierships, was picked in our team of century. To their family, friends, and everything else, deepest sympathy of you. Thank you so much for your continued support of the tradition, which is the other to Murray Football Netball Hall of Fame, and I hope you have a fantastic night and uh, enjoy the proceedings. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Just before we go to a, a break so you can enjoy the meal and a bit of fellowship, I just want to mention not only do we honour our footballers and netballers and administrators, but the Ovens and Murray has a great record in providing officials. And I just wanted to bring to your attention a young fellow at about the age of 16 who umpired the first Ovens and Murray Grand Final. I believe he did it with uh, Graham Edwards and Jason Judinas, but it was just a wonderful achievement a couple of weeks ago to see Wodonga's Jacob Mollison umpire his 350th AFL-VFL game. He's now the 16th highest games umpire ever in the AFL and I think that for a boy from Wodonga and from the r and I think that deserves a round of applause. We'll now take a break for about 15 or 20 minutes and we'll come back with the first of our three first bracket of inductions. Thank you.